Hello YouTube. Another day, another laptop to repair. The customer brought me this HP MV14 that doesn't turn on. Let's see if we can fix it. It negotiates 20 volts from the USB-C charger, so that makes me think the USB-C circuit's okay, but it doesn't seem to be charging the battery and shows no charge or power LEDs. Hmm, does the battery have any charge left in it? We get 11.6 volts from the battery. Its rating's 11.55, so that's okay. Let's have a quick look over the board, see if there's anything that gives us a clue. Oh, that screw's a little crusty. Maybe it's liquid damaged? Why don't you charge? Voltage isn't increasing at the battery connector, so maybe the charge circuit's bad? Okay. So we get 20 volts to the system. So I think the charge IC is probably okay. Maybe the EC chip's preventing the system from charging? If the EC chip's not working properly, then it would also explain the LED's not working. I'll get the board out, have a proper look over it under the microscope, see if we spot any liquid damage. Ooh, there's some liquid damage. Just around the VRAM. That can't be the problem, right? Well, it's not shorted, so I don't think that's the issue. Other than that spot of liquid damage, I can't see anything suspicious. No signs of damage around the EC chip, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Let's check for shorts on the main power rails. The CPU seems okay. These guys seem okay. RAM's okay. Okay, this one's short. I don't have a schematic for this, so I'm not really sure what rail that is. This coil is also low resistance, four rooms to ground. So I'm not sure about that. It's near the GPU, so it's possible that's the GPU core rail.
Let's look at this one first. I'm gonna separate that solder junction. That will disconnect the regulator's output from the rest of the system, and then we can recheck the resistances to see if the short is on the regulator side or the system side. Okay, that bridge removed, the coil is no longer short to ground. And it's also not shorted to its input voltage, so the regulator seems okay. Let's plug it in and see if the regulator outputs any voltage. Alrighty then, we get five volts, so I guess that's the five volt route. I guess that means the coil close to the GPU is GPU core voltage. Low resistance on a GPU core is normal, so I'm not worried about that. Let's inject some power from a bench supply and feel around for hotspots. Ouch, it's hot. Well, I guess I found the problem. I'm sick of getting burnt. I should probably buy a thermal camera. Oh, wow. I'm not sure how I missed that when I looked over the board. Yeah, that cap's falling apart. I'm pretty confident that's the short. Oh yeah, that's cooked. Okay, before I forget, I should clean up the corrosion near the VRAM. Let's plug it in and see if it works. Nope, still nothing. Maybe I need to press the power button to turn this board on. Did I at least fix battery charging? Ah, cool. It's charging now. I don't know why a short on 5 volts would stop the battery charging, but uh, who cares? Okay, let's put it back together and see if it displays.
Yes, it works. Nice. So with that, I hope you like this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you found it helpful. And subscribe if you want to see me try to keep more stuff out of e-waste. Goodbye.